Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For this video, we are going to talk about geometric sequence. Recall that in a rhythmic sequence, succeeding terms are generated by adding a common difference to the preceding terms. If the common difference is positive, the sequence is said to be ascending or increasing. Meanwhile, for negative difference, the sequence is decreasing or descending. In the case of a geometric sequence, the terms are generated by multiplying a non-zero real number, also known as the common ratio, to the preceding terms. Common ratio is the quotient obtained when a term is divided by another term before it. Formula for the common ratio may be r is equal to a sub 2 over a sub 1, and so on and so forth until a sub n over a sub n minus 1. Also notice that in this set of numbers, since the common ratio is greater than 1, the sequence is increasing. For a sequence of number where the common ratio is less than 1 but is greater than 0, the sequence is decreasing. For a common ratio that is less than 0, the sign of consecutive terms are alternating, meaning they are neither decreasing nor increasing. Now in finding the nth term of a geometric sequence, we follow the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Now if you want to know how do we arrive at this formula, here is the illustration. So as you can see, as the pattern continues, the exponent of the common ratio is always 1 less than the position of the indicated term. For our first example, find the ninth term of the sequence 5, negative 10, positive 20, negative 40, and so on and so forth. In this given sequence, first term is 5. Thus, a sub 1 will be equal to 5. To get the common ratio, we may divide the second term by the first term. So here, r is equal to negative 10 over 5 or simply negative 2. Since we are looking for the ninth term, n here is 9. Substituting these values in our formula, a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. a sub 9 will be equal to 5 times negative 2 raised to 9 minus 1. 9 minus 1 is 8, so that would be the same with negative 2 raised to 8. Negative 2 raised to 8 is 256 multiplied by 5. The product is 1,280. Hence, the ninth term of the given sequence is 1,280. For our second example, the fifth term of a geometric sequence consisting of positive integers is 162. If the sequence has a common ratio of 3, what is the first term? So in this example, we are looking for the first term. Notice that the nth term, a sub 5, is already given. That is 162. Also, n is equal to 5. Common ratio is also given. r is equal to 3. So in this example, we can still use the formula a sub n be equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. We substitute the values of 162 be equal to a sub 1 times 3 raised to 5 minus 1. That would be 3 raised to 4 or 81. Now dividing both sides of the equation by 81, we have an a sub 1 value of positive 2. Third example, determine the common ratio of a geometric sequence whose first term is 81 over 16 and fourth term 3 over 2. So in this example, the first term is already given a sub 1 is 81 over 16. Fourth term, or a sub 4, is 3 over 2. N value, position of the n term, that is 4. Using the same formula, equation now would become 3 over 2, be equal to 81 over 16, r raised to 4 minus 1, or r cubed. By cross-multiplying 81 over 16 to 3 over 2, we now have 48 over 162 equals r cubed. Notice that the left side of the equation can still be simplified. 48 and 162 are still both divisible by 6. So simplifying the value, we have 8 over 27. Getting the cube root of both sides, we have an r value of 2 thirds. Hence, 
the common ratio for this sequence is 2 thirds. For our last example, suppose a ball is dropped from a height of 40 feet and it bounces up to 80% of its previous height after each bounce. What is the height of the fifth bounce? So here we are looking for h sub 5 being the fifth bounce height. But before that, we also need to look for the first term because here we cannot consider 40 being a sub 1. That is not a bounce height. So getting 80% of 40, that is 32. Hence, the first term for this item is 32. Now we can rewrite 80% into decimal, that is 0.8. Then raising that by n minus 1, that is 5 minus 1 or 4. 0 0.8 raised to 4 is equivalent to 0 0.4096. And multiplying that by the first bounce, which is 32, gives us a height of 13.1072 or approximately equivalent to 13.11 feet. Hence, the height of the fifth bounce is approximately equal to 13.11 feet. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. God bless.